Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, but uh, I'm tired. You're tired? Okay, so tell me about your day. How was it? What do you do? Okay, today um, I attend a, a lot of uh, meetings, mm -hmm. all of day. For me, it's, uh, it's uh, sad <laughs> because I don't like this. Oh, really? You do not like meetings? What? You do not like meetings? No. Mm. Uh, uh, for me, it makes me stress. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Nelson. You, you understand that. All right. So let's see. Good evening, hostman, Andrea, Walter, Juan. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So good. You're good. Perfect. I can see Edwin. I can see Rafael. Uh, teacher. Yes, Andrea. Uh, I don't open the camera because that I am in traffic. Okay. So, okay. You are in the traffic jam. All right. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. So, well, Juan Francisco. Teacher. I am here at work, teacher. Okay. You're at work. All right. So guys, we are going to start with today's class. Okay, so welcome once again. Okay, so this is our second class. The first thing that I would like to mention is that we are going to start by talking about the same information that we covered yesterday, which is important for you to remember. Okay, do not forget about homework and evaluations. Okay, remember that you need to complete one homework per day. Okay, don't forget about that. Okay. Then remember the requirements, okay? Your full name, mm, what else? Your camera on, okay? And try to mute yourself just because of the background, okay? So then do not forget about the attendance, okay? You need to be 120 minutes, okay? So that means during the whole class, yeah? I know that sometimes you have eating issues, or probably you need to um, do something else because you are at work, but try to be focused uh, on the class, okay? And don't forget about uh, actually that we are going to take the attendance twice, okay? And uh, do not forget about just the indications about Zoom, you already know, right? So camera on, the communication is going to be through the chat and whenever you want to participate, please raise your hand. We are going to have a conversation time. So we are going to use the break rooms a lot today, okay? Because we have a lot of conversation time today. Okay, guys, so then, um, and finally, all right, so you uh, already know about week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five, which is the last one, okay? We already talked about this yesterday, but don't forget about uh, the assignments that you have, okay, during those uh, five weeks, okay? So we are going to start, and today's agenda, we are going to start with the speaking time, okay? We are going to cover um, grammar, and today we are going to make a review on compatible adjectives and we are going to um, talk about coordinating conjunctions. Okay, so this one is a new topic for uh, most of you probably, but we are going to try to explain this topic in the best uh, possible way. So then um, we also have grammar quiz. Okay, something that I need to mention about the grammar quizzes, guys, is the following. I know that some of you um, already took these, um, those quizzes. I know that some of you already, uh, already took them, but remember that classroom practices are those, right? So in this case, classroom practices are for you to take those during the class, okay? No outside of the class. Why? Because with the listening, you won't have any listening. You won't have any audio. I'm going to play it. 
during the class. If you take it outside the class, you won't find the link, okay? Because those are designed for you to take them during the class. When I say, hey, we are going to take the listening practice, you need to come to the spreadsheet and you are going to open it, but it is going to be during the class, okay? Don't forget about that. So if you see a classroom practices like this, I'm going to be adding many of uh, for each day. You, you do not have to take those practices, okay? You need to take those practices during the class when I say, why? Because once uh, the other ones are taking it, you are not going to be doing anything, right? So you need to be working on this during the class. Yes, Nelson. Thank you. Uh, I have a problem with, with this. Uh, listening practice, number one, I open it the link. <laughs> and yes, my coworkers called me to help them with a problem. And I I can see uh, that the the exam mm -hmm. have a time. Yes, correct, and that's yes. why. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nelson, thank you, and uh, that's why we shouldn't take those outside this class because I know that you are working. I know that you have uh, things to do. That's why I have designed those practices for you to practice during the class because I know that you are going to have the time. But outside the class, no, because I know that probably you are going to feel overwhelmed because you won't find the link or you are going to be doing something else. And the purpose of the practices are for you to measure your abilities. That's why you shouldn't, okay? Take those whenever we are not in class. You need to take them when I say, okay, guys, we are going to take the listening practice, okay? And I'm going to send this link in the chat or you need to open the spreadsheet, okay? So I'm going to say this in Spanish just for you to make sure to not um, lose any information. Okay, so estas prácticas solamente la vamos a tomar durante la clase, ¿ok? No fuera de la clase porque yo sé que pasan ocupados. Entonces, si usted toma esas prácticas fuera de la clase, eh, puede ser que se le acabe el tiempo o puede ser que no encuentre el link, porque de hecho los listenings no están con links, no están con audios, porque los audios yo los voy a poner en la clase. Es por eso que no va a encontrar audio. Entonces, eh, lo de gramática lo vamos a resolver en la clase cuando digamos, ok, vamos a tomar el listening exam, vamos a tomar el grammar practice. Entonces, todo lo vamos a tomar juntos para que todos eh, lo hagamos al mismo tiempo y no estemos, uno están haciendo la práctica y los otros no están haciendo nada. Ok, entonces eso es importante mencionarlo. Yes, Nelson. Lo siento, en este caso. No, en ese caso, eh, lo vamos, usted la va a volver a tomar, pero ahora sí con el audio, ¿ok? Ahora sí lo vamos ah, a hacer sí. en el audio. Entonces, es no que te... yo pensé que ahí estaba como el audio y después venían las preguntas. Pero sí, ya cuando también. me percaté ya el tiempo ya y no, no encontré el audio. Entonces, sí. Okay. Lo mismo me pasó a mí ayer. Lo así siento que mucho. Decidí dormirme mejor. <ríe> ok, sí, yo sé. Sorry. Entonces, don't worry. Then uh, another thing is this. Acá les voy a estar poniendo los videos de la clase para que usted venga aquí, se le haga más fácil, se le facilite a usted solamente darle clic y ver lo, las clases nuevamente, si las quiere eh, volver a ver, ¿ok? Cuando diga uh, video class, es la clase, ¿ok? Es la clase. Eh, well, that's pretty much what I needed to cover before we start. Then uh, we are going to start by making a review on comparative additives. Okay, guys, what do you remember about comparative additives? When do we use comparative additives? Give me examples. Uh -huh. Comparative, comparative additives. What are comparative additives? What uh, are the rules that we have? We use, uh, we use the comparative adjectives when uh, we need compa compare uh, between two things or, or situations. Okay, very good, yes. Okay, so now, uh, Rafael, 
Can you please help us reading uh, this chart? All of this. All. Okay. How to use comparative adjectives? Use the comparative form or adject of adjectives to compare to people, things, or animals. Delivery service is better than take out mm -hmm. when the adjective has one or two syllables. Uh, make the comparative be added er to the end of the adjective, then use them after the adjective. The restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. The waiters at, at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Cafe. When the adjective has more than two syllables, use more before the adjective and then after it. All restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Uh, specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so as you remember guys, when the adjectives have, uh, when the adjective has one or two syllables, made the comparative by adding, okay, this one by, by adding ER to the end of the adjective. And we are going to use then. Some of you sent a message to me today that you were um, taking the practices, the online practices, your homework, and there was a mistake, okay? There were many, like, I would say errors, right? So, I'm going to report that because probably most of you are going to get the same mistakes, okay? So then, um, whenever we have long adjectives, okay, that means two or more syllables, what are we going to do? We are going to add more, okay? For example, more beautiful, more expensive, more delicious, more convenient, as you can see on this um, exercise. Delivery is more convenient than takeout. Who can explain to us what is the meaning of takeout? What do you understand by takeout? Explain that in English. I think it's, it's like when, when, you, when you go to the uh, restaurant mm -hmm. and pick up the Okay. The the food. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if if the word is the correct uh, pick up uh, uh, the okay. the food and then go go out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. When whenever you go to the restaurant and you ask for that food, so you take it with you and you go home. Right. So take out. Um, then, what about uh, number two? Who can give us the comparative adjective? The whole sentence with the comparative chip. Hmm? Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Excellent. Okay. What about number three? Mm -hmm. More. Romantic. More romantic than. More romantic than. Okay, so French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. Very good. What about number four? The buffet. Mm -hmm. More complete than. Okay, more complete than chance. Okay. What about number five? Their service is faster, faster than. Faster than. Perfect. Number six. The ambience in Javi's kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. What is the meaning of this word? Who can give us one synonym? Ambience. Environment. I think it's like Am environment. Excellent. The environment. Perfect. Yes. Very good. All right. So now let's see. 
we have some exercises. Okay, number one, I am taller than my sister. Number two, Rose. Well, Rosa del Carmen. Number two. Sara. Sara is busier than Mary. Okay, repeat after me and say busier. 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 Sara is busier. Excellent. Than Mary. Perfect. Number three, eh, Blanca. Number three. The sun or the earth. Okay, the sun is hotter than the earth. Husman, number four. Oh. The hair more lies, the moon. Okay, is this a long or a short adjective, Husman? Large. Long or short adjective? Long. It's long. a long, long additive. Are you sure? Two long. syllables. Short is short. Yeah. It's, in this case, it's just one large, uh -huh. large. So it is going to larger. be larger. Excellent. Very good. It's not more large. It is larger because it's a short additive. So that means okay. that. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, Carlos Eduardo, can you please help us with number four? The four, the number yes. four. Yes, please. The earth is larger than the moon. Excellent. Excellent. Number five, Walter. The pants is bigger than horses. Than horses. Excellent. Number six, please, uh, Susana. Action movies are more exciting than the comedies. Yes, excellent. What about number seven, Raul? Uh, this restaurant is gooder. Uh, mm, are you sure that gooder? This is a, uh -huh, this is a? Oh, yeah, this, this restaurant is more good than star. Not exactly. Better. This it's is better. an irregular better. additive. Yes, better. this is an irregular additive. So that means that it's going to be better. This uh, restaurant yeah. is better than that restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay, don't worry, okay? It's okay. Number eight, Jose. Salads. Mm -hmm. Jose Salvador. Are you there? Jose Salvador. No, I think that, that he's not there. Okay. Edwin Antonio is number eight. Salads. Salad is healthier than hamburgers. Okay. Salads are, are because it is plural. Salads, yeah, are healthier than hamburgers. What about number nine, Edwin? I think we can are nicer than weekdays. Weekdays, perfect, yes. And Ana Lorena, number 10. Lions uh, are more dangerous than rabbits. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you see, so one thing that I need to probably mention is that whenever you have a plural noun, you should use are. Don't forget, okay? When it is singular, so is, but when it is plural, are, okay? Don't forget about that. Remember that we also have irregular adjectives. Mm -hmm. So good is irregular. That is 
that means that it is better, the comparative. And what about if I say bad? Which one is the comparative of bad? Worse. 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 Very good. Which is the comparative of far? Farther. Farther. Yes. Very good. So you see? Easy. Piece of cake. Okay. Now let's take the quiz. Okay. So now, yes. Which quiz? This one. Okay. So for the ones that um, do not have access to this, right now I'm going to send it to the chat. So click on the link. All right. Click on the link. You are going to be asked. Oh, I'm going to share this screen. Give me one second. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, so you are going to be asked, okay? You are going to be asked for your name, okay? For your name. So you need to add your full name right there, okay? Full name. And the passcode is going to be grammar in capital letters. Capital, capital letters. And that's it. You start taking the, the quiz. Once you are done, let me know that you are done, that you have finished. So we are going to start with the conversation time. So I'm going to assign you to different breakout rooms. Once you finish, let me know because I'm going to move you. So open the class as well. Open the class because once we finish, you are going to go to another room to practice speaking, okay? So first of all, take the exam, take the quiz. Once you are done, let me know, okay? Uh, teacher, I can in. Uh, can you repeat the the, the password? Passcodes? Yes, grammar, but it is uh, capital letters. Okay. In capital letter, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm finished. You finish? Finish. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me see. I'm going to. To check your score. I would like to check your score. Okay, I see Edwin, Jennifer. Okay, Edwin, Jennifer. Blanca, Jennifer Torres, I think. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move you to a different room so you can start practicing the conversation questions, okay? So um, where can you find the conversation questions? Well, in the class. Open the, the spreadsheet, okay? And you will see the link for the second class. So you open the class, you will see the things that we have covered, and then you are going to see conversation time and you are going to start practicing those questions, okay? So we have seven questions to practice with. Remember, you need to ask why, okay? Is it better to study English in class or online? Why? I need to know reasons why, right? So let's see, I'm going to assign um, Jennifer... Okay, Jennifer Rafael.
I finished. Thank you, Carlos. Um, okay, let me see. You will go with Wilder. Okay. Okay, let me know. Hosman, did you finish? Salvador? Yes, I, I finished. Okay, uh, Carlos, Hosman, okay. Do you have um, questions? Okay, Hosman, do you have any question about this topic? No, teacher. For women. Not right now. No. Okay. And okay, so let me see. Did you receive the invitation to go to the room, Hosman? Yeah, I think that is. Okay, so Carlos, Juan, and Salvador, I think that they are not here. Uh, Andrea? Eh, no, teacher, eh, me acabo de volver a conectar porque en lo que venía de caminos me desconecté y se me hizo imposible volverme a conectar. Okay. So um, there you go. That is the link for the quiz. Uh, go to the chat and you will see the link for the quiz. And the passcode is grammar. La contraseña es grammar. Pero en letra mayúscula como está aquí en el chat. Okay. Add your full name. Okay. Take it. Okay. Yeah. Take it once you are done. Let me know, please. Okay, I'll be right back, Andrea. I'm going to go to the rooms to uh, monitor, okay? So give me one second. Continue with the, with the quiz, okay? Uh, because uh, it's more complicated for me. Uh, Remember maybe vocabulary. Um, Matt. Respect up to. Matt. Oh, okay. Yes, but we can speak about the question. Uh, the next question is: Are you? Happier now, or were you happier when you were younger? Who else? Is is a horse? Who else? Uh, uh, to help our Rosa. Okay. okay, guys, let me ask you, okay? Is it better to study English in class or online and why? Think about your answer, okay? I need uh, in you to please share with me your opinion. So, is it better to study English in class or online, okay? 
Think about it. 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. So which one do you prefer? Okay. Uh, studying English in class or online? Okay. In a classroom or online? Okay. So let's see. Uh, Nelson, which one okay. is better? Classroom classes or online classes? And why? Mm -hmm. For me, Online. for me, a classroom. Classroom. Why, Nelson? Be because, uh, um, because I like to 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 learn and uh, with the environment uh, about uh, the class mm -hmm. or different environment that uh, is not my house okay all right in this case in this case mm -hmm. okay perfect uh, rosa which is better classroom classes or online classes classroom why class because there are fewer distractions in in the, in the house Yes. Okay. Mm, yes, I agree. Karen, what do you think? My cat in uh, in classroom. Classroom. Because, classroom. Because I have less description. Yes. Okay. Okay. And okay, Carlos, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, so which one is better for you, Carlos Alberto? Uh, uh, my opinion, uh, online teacher. Why, Carlos? Uh, because it, it is more comfortable. Okay. Uh, accessible hours. Okay. It is more comfortable. Comfortable. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, uh, both, I would say, have advantages and disadvantages, right? Both. Yes, that is true. Okay. And which one is harder, math or English? Which one is harder? Mm -hmm. Mathematics or English? For me, uh, mathematics is harder than English. Why, Nelson? Because, no, 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 sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. For me, uh, English is harder than mathematics because uh, mathematics is, a, um, for example, mechanic. Uh, I uh, More mechanic than English. Uh, in English, uh, you can read a lot, mm -hmm. uh, practice, uh, and others. But mathematics, uh, you can find the solution and all of exercise. And this situation makes uh, stress. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. My humble yeah. opinion. All right, could be perfect. And what about you, Rosa? Which one is harder, math or English? Which one is harder for you? Is more harder English? Okay, is harder? Because harder is harder English because um I like I like math. And I like more and I understand it better. And okay, all right. You understand it better. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Karen, what do you think? Which one is harder? For me, it's harder in math. No. Okay. Because I don't like math. You do not like math? Every day. No. Every day. No, I don't like it. Okay. 
All right. Okay. What about you, Carlos? Which one is better? Uh, for me, teach uh, English. Why? Uh, because it helps uh, uh, me to understand okay. the 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 spe specification okay. the specification in the garment. Okay, perfect. Let me ask something, okay? Who is from the computer? Nobody? Nobody is from the computer? No? All of you are from your cell phone? Yes, teacher. Sorry, Joe. Me. Okay. On it. <laughs> On it yes. Yes, the thing is, uh, you are from the cell phone or the computer, Nelson? On the computer. Okay, yes. Um, I'm asking you because if you want, you can share your screen and it is better for you to read the question so you can all see where you are, right? So if you want, you can open the class and share the screen so the other ones can see your 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 the class, right? So try to do it. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. El anfitrión inhabilitó la función de compartir las pantallas de los participantes. Yo igual lo intenté compartir y no pude. Porque okay. ya no decía eso del anfitrión. All right. Okay, uh, try now. Oh, I see. Okay. Did you see? Can you see? Yes. Oh, but you can, uh, yeah, but the class, show the class. Uh, okay. The class. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, wait. I can open the, the the class. Okay, so go go to the uh -huh, yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, it, it is the same, but um, okay. So you need to open the class because if not, uh, you won't have the other the other questions, right? So open the class. The class is the link that I sent in the chat. The exam. No, the link that I send right here. You cannot see it. Yes, yes. Okay. I share my screen. Please. Pide que la otra persona descompare. Yeah. Stop sharing, Rose. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. So now, yes. Okay. So scroll down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's scroll down. Okay, down, down, there you go. So you have the questions right there, okay? Scroll up. So you need to practice number three right now. 
Are you happier now or were uh, or were you happier when you were younger? And then you move to number four, five, six, seven. Okay? So in this way, it's better for you. Así es un poco mejor para todos, para que todos puedan ver qué estamos preguntando. Okay? Very good. Okay, continue, continue. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, are you happier now or were you happier when you were younger? For me, uh, right now, um, yes, I am, ha I am happy uh, because I like, uh, I like my job, my life. Uh, uh, I love my family. Okay. And I like the, I like the, I no sé cómo decir esto, permita. Okay. I like to, ¿cómo puedo decir? Cumplir con mis obligaciones o mis asignaciones. Uh, probably, um, to finish all my tasks. Oh, okay. I'd like to finish uh, all my tasks uh, about my job. Really? Tell me about your job. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, okay. My job is is about uh, security of okay. the company. Mm -hmm. Security in Microsoft mm -hmm. Office 365. And I I learned uh, much because I don't know uh, nothing about this this security, mm -hmm. and I have the opportunity to learn. Okay, perfect. What about the other ones? Are you happier now, or were you happier when you were younger? In my case, when I was younger, because I have fewer responsibility. Okay. Than right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Carlos? Uh, teacher. Uh... For me, uh, uh, right now, teacher. Right now. Why? Why right now? Uh, let me see. Mm Uh, teacher, because because the the present mm -hmm. uh, vibrates better. Okay, vibrates better, uh, like better. Yes. Okay. Yes, could be right. There is a good reason. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, Karen. Um, I am happy now. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I have a family and I have more responsibilities, but they make me happy. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys, we're going to go back to the main room because I'm going to explain something to everybody, okay? So let's go back to the main room. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. So, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to say the attendance. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones. And in the meantime, I'm going to just open um, this document. 
give me one second. Okay. Um, so from the ones that are here, from the ones that are here, please raise your hand, okay? With the reactions here in Zoom, raise your hand. If you are from the computer, raise your hand if you are from the computer. Raise your hand with a reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Point. Yes, if you are on the computer. Uh, let me see, so Rafael, okay, Rafael. Okay, let me see who else. Walter, okay. Walter. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos Eduardo, Wilbur. Okay, guys. Eh, also, Raul. Okay, why am I asking you this? Because in order for you to practice in a better way, it is useful for you to share your screen. The way that I do it, that's the way that I want you to do it. Why? Because in that, in that way, your partner is going to be able to see the questions, the ones that you are asking, right? So it is better for you to, um, to practice in that way right now. Because sometimes you are asking your partner and your partner cannot see what you are asking. Right, so they are like, um, I don't know, right? And the purpose of you practicing is not that, is you answering, okay? So right now I'm going to take the attendance, please say present, okay? Uh, let me see, here we go. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana? Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez? Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres? Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. I'm here to show. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Yeah, I haven't seen Carlos Francisco Arias. Cesar Homero Amaya. Cesar Homero. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Eh, Fátima Noemi Umaña. Present. I hear something, but let me see. Fátima. Yeah, Fátima is right there. Okay. Eh, Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Glenda. Is Glenda here? I, I am. Yeah. Well, but I think that no, no, she's not here. Okay. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan Francisco. No. Karen Lisset Sanchez Castro. Present teacher. Karen. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Indira Velasquez. Catherine. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Marlon. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez Flores. Present. Susana Milena Cruz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Walter David Díaz. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. And Jancy Azucena Sánchez. Jancy. No? Okay. All right, guys. So what I need you to do is the following, okay? What I need you to do is the following. I'm going to reassign the rooms again, okay? And I need you to please share your screen, 
whenever you are in the breakout room, cuando ya esté en el salón, necesito que comparta su pantalla, pero abra la clase. Ok, abra la clase, porque algunos no tenemos la clase abierta. Entonces, si no la tiene, pues no va a poder compartir la pantalla, la pantalla porque no van a ver. Ok, so please try to open the class and um, I'm going to assign three people her breakout room. And I need you to please practice. Okay, practice. So let me see. Here we go. Teacher, the same exercise? Yes, but okay. with different people, with different people. Uh, yes, please. We're going to talk about these topics. For example, we have the first uh, question. Is it better to study English in a class or online? Uh, online. Do you like more? Because uh, it's, more, it's more facility, facility. Oh, it's easier? Easier. It's more easier and uh, uh, how do you say acoplar? Okay, so uh, it is easier to get used to. Okay. It is easier because the to get used to to get used to and in the time and because of the time that is correct yes you're okay. right mm -hmm. you can uh take the class uh in a house mm -hmm. in your house Hello. 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 Hey, I'm looking for the class. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Let, me, let me let me send the, the link. Is the conversation time? Yes. Maybe okay, maybe I uh, sure. Mm -hmm. um, Very good. This is right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we can start. So. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Glenda. Hi, teacher. I lost the connections and I don't oh, really? it. Oh, yes. okay. So I was telling the guys in this case, since you are from the computer, you can um, open the class and you can share your screen so Hostman can see the questions, right? And you can uh, participate both at the same time. But if you if you want, please share your screen with the with the conversation time. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm going to share the screen this month. Uh, 
scroll up. Up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. and scroll up. No, up. Down. Up. Let's scroll up. Yes. This one? Let's scroll up the conversation time. Uh, yeah. Um, no, though this is not a, this is the conversation time for the end. We are at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Let's go up, up, Linda. Up. A little bit more. A little bit more. Mm, a little bit more. Okay, there you go. Okay. Those are the ones that you are practicing right now. Okay. Which is faster, a horse or a tiger? I think the, the tiger is faster than a horse. That is correct. Okay. And you, Hosman, what do you think? Which is faster, a horse or a tiger? The tiger is the faster a horse. Okay, repeat after me, Hosman, and say, uh, the horse is faster than the tiger. The horse is faster or the tiger? The horse no. is faster than... Faster. Than... Than... The tiger. The tiger. Now say the tiger is faster than the horse. The tiger. The tiger. Is faster. Is faster. Than. Than. The horse. The horse. Perfect. Glenda, which is better for you, Glenda? McDonald's or a Burger King? Um, McDonald's is better than Burger King. Why? Because uh, McDonald's has a uh, best flavors of the of the burger. Okay. And Burger King, I guess that I'm so fried the chicken and meat, mm. so the the flavor is missing when you eat it. Uh, a okay. burger of the burger. All right. I, I didn't know that. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. So, and you, Raul, which is better for you? McDonald's or a Burger King? Which one do you like the most? Uh, I prefer Burger King because I think it's better than McDonald's, but uh, I like the, the potatoes of McDonald's. Uh, I think is more delicious than mm -hmm. the potato of the Burger King. Okay, okay. Well, it depends, right? But yes, I, I think that both of them uh, have something delicious, right? So let's see. And which is healthier, salad or pizza? And why? Which is healthier? Salad or pizza and why? I want to know why. Think about it, okay? Why? Mm -hmm. Obviously salad. <laughs> okay. So in this case, which one do you prefer, Glenda? Salad or pizza? Salad, my favorite. Salad? Okay, why? Why do you prefer salad? Um, I love uh, the Mexican salad with beans, uh, bacon, and, ch and chicken. So the Caesar salad I don't like because it's only le lettuce. I'll say lechuga. Lettuce? Lettuce. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Okay, and you, Hosman, which is healthier for you, salad or pizza? Mm. Salad. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry, yes, no salad. 
salad. Okay, why? Um, because it's the, the delicious, now for me it's very delicious and different products and vegetables. Vegetables? Uh, vegetables, sorry, vegetables. Um, and my health is, is very good. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. Scroll down, Glenda, the last question. Yeah, scroll down a little bit. Yes, there you go. Okay, what is more entertaining, guys? Listen to this. What is more ent entertaining for you? For you, okay? Watching TV or playing computer games? Well. Okay, no. let's see. Okay. Go ahead, Linda. Glenda, go first, then Raul, then Hosman. Okay, go, Glenda. Okay, for me, it's more entertaining watching TV, mm -hmm. but I prefer uh, watching movies in the TV. On the TV. On the TV. Excellent. Raul. What well, about in my case, right now, uh, I. I prefer watching TV uh, than than playing uh, in computer than playing than playing computer games. But uh, when I watching TV, I don't watch watching on the TV. I I, I watch in in front of my computer. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Yes, well, it depends, right? It depends. But in this case, let's listen to Hosman. Yeah, what is more entertaining for you, Hosman? Watching TV or playing computer games? I prefer watching TV. I um, like you to uh, watch the series in the screen. Okay. Um, I'm very, and other moments of view the movies. Okay, well, Yes, you have a good point right there. Karen, are you there? Watching TV. Watching TV. Why? Why? Because I like uh, uh, watching series. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's more comfortable for me. Okay. Very good. So let's see. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. So give me one second. Yes, let's go back. Okay, guys, let me let me share my screen. Okay, uh, let me see. Susana. Susana, can you please tell the class? Which is healthier for you, salad or pizza? Salad. Salad. Why salad, Susan? Because don't need cook. Okay, you don't. Okay, you you don't need to. Cook. You don't need. You don't need to use much oil. Okay. Mm. Or enjoy the food. Okay, to enjoy, to enjoy the food. Uh, to enjoy. Excellent. Okay. So let me see. In one minute, well, no, no one minute, 30 seconds. Okay. In 30 seconds, in 30 seconds, Anna, tell the class why uh, if you prepare learning English in a classroom or online in 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going to set the timer right here. You will see it. Just Talk for 30 seconds, okay? Okay, for me is uh, better in classroom because it's more easier to uh, ask questions to the teacher mm -hmm. and change uh, experience with the classmates. Mm -hmm. um, Nine seconds. Uh, 
that maybe <laughs> okay 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 so now observations more easier no it is easier okay easier yes okay um let me see a volunteer for which is harder math or english to give the opinion in 30 seconds as well a volunteer Okay, Raúl, go. Which is harder, math or English, and why? Uh, I think uh, I think English is harder than math because uh, English you you need uh, uh, learn uh, learn and practice and have a lot of, of skills. Mm -hmm. And different of math, I think is is more is easier because you only uh, practice uh, a short time, maybe. But it's my opinion. <laughs> okay, all right. So very good. Do not forget. Okay, easier. Okay, more easier. No, easier. Okay, okay. I need yes. I need one volunteer to tell us which is better, McDonald's or a Burger King, and why? 30 seconds as well. Hmm? A volunteer. In 30 seconds, just give us your opinion. Me? Okay. It's my opportunity to shine. Okay, <laughs> okay very good, Nelson. Okay, so what? <laughs> Two, three, go. Okay, for me, it's a better McDonald's because I love the taste of my... Oh, sorry, sorry. It's better Burger King. Sorry. Because I love the taste of the hamburger. Mm -hmm. I love the potatoes. Also, uh, the hamburgers are bigger than McDonald's okay. um, and others uh, characteristics. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good, Nelson. Thank okay. you. Okay, well done. Yes, well done. Okay, and the last question right now, right now, what is more entertaining, watching TV or playing computer games? In one minute, who can give us um, your opinion? In one minute. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay. Uh, okay, wait. go. go. Let's try. Yes. Okay. I think that uh, the watching TV is more entertaining than playing the computer games. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's playing computer game is more entertaining than watching TV because if I can see, I can watch a movie. But the movie, the movie finished and a series as well. Um, but on the other hand, the games I can play uh, all night, for example. And my favorite video game is FIFA, and I can play for days. And if I bore, are boring, uh, I can play another video game. And for that reason, I Think that this is more entertaining playing computer games. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> okay, so almost, right? Oh, okay, almost, very good, almost. Almost. Excellent. Okay, but very good. Thank you. Okay, guys, very good. Okay, so the other ones, I, I hope the ones that haven't participated try the next time. Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with the main topic for today, which is coordinating conjunctions. Okay, who knows what are coordinating conjunctions? Who has an idea? No? Okay, a coordinating conjunction is a word that joins words, phrases, or independent clauses. That means sentences, okay? But teacher, what is a coordinating conjunction? I don't know. Well, Coordinating conjunctions are 
for and nor but or yet and so those are coordinating conjunctions and as you can see right here they go in the middle of the sentence okay they go in the middle so if we read the first example it says I go to the library for I love to read. Teacher, but that, that sounds weird, right? That sounds different. Yes, but this is another way for you to use for with coordinating conjunctions. And what is the meaning of for? Because. So I go to the library because I love to read. But instead of using because, we use for. Yeah? I go to the library for I love to read. Okay? Then we also have number two. Mario likes to read and draw. Two options, right? Read and draw. Yeah, so that means in addition to. Yeah, so Mario likes to read in addition to draw. Okay, now number three. Sophia doesn't like Coca-Cola, nor does she like Pepsi. Teacher, and what is nor? Nor means ni in Spanish. Sofia doesn't like Coca-Cola, nor does she like Pepsi. Now, all wanted to eat pizza, but no one wanted to buy it. To buy it. So, but means however. Teacher, but I don't know what is the meaning of however. I don't know what is the meaning of but. Okay. So, but means pero. Yeah. So, but means pero. However is a synonym. However means sin embargo. Yeah. So, all wanted to eat pizza. But no one wanted to buy it. So, dice que todos querían que comer pizza, pero, o sin embargo, nadie quiso comprarla. Simple past, guys. Okay? Now, what about this one? We can go to Metro Centro or we can go to Multiplaza. Two options. Or, or, right? The weather was cold. Jet bright and sunny. Jet means but. The weather was cold, but bright and sunny. Or jet bright and sunny. So those are the meaning. Yeah. And then we also have he was sick. Yeah. He was sick. So. He couldn't attend the meeting. Teacher, but what is so? I don't know. So means therefore. So therefore means por lo tanto. Entonces. Podría aplicar por lo que? Por lo que, yes. Huh? Yes, he was sick, so he couldn't attend the meeting. He was sick, therefore, he couldn't attend the meeting. And those are coordinating conjunctions because they help us to join ideas. Join I your have, thoughts. I have a question. Yes. For example, in the third example, Sofia doesn't like Coca-Cola. Nor does she like Pepsi. The second sentence is affirmative. 
But the, the, all sentences means negative. Exactly. Okay. That is correct. Teacher, I have a question. What, well, what happened when I use the word yet, but at the end of the sentence is different the context? Yes, correct. It is different because yet is also a time expression. But okay. yeah, whenever we use the present perfect or any type of uh, perfect tense, right? Those are different because this is this jet is coordinating conjunction, is not time expression. So the context is different. Okay, okay, I get it. Thanks. Okay, very good. Repeat, repeat please, when I use a uh, but. But, okay, uh -huh. but when you want to say, however, sin embargo. Yeah. For example, if you want to say, um, I wanted okay i wanted simple past but you can also use simple present for example i want in present i want to buy some pair of shoes but i don't have money however i don't have money but pero o sin embargo yeah so but means however Okay. Yes, and as you can see, you have coma. Look at this. You have coma. It is important punctuation rules. Yeah, coma, coma, coma. Here we do not have coma. Why not? Because this is the same sentence, the same sentence. So Mario likes to read and draw, the same sentence. So we do not use coma. Teacher, so if I, for example, in the fair sentence, if I use for or because, uh, at the end, it, 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 is, it, is, it means the, the same, both. It means the same. But, but I need to mention this. Uh, whenever we speak, it is really... Um, I would say it's not common to hear people saying, I go to the library for I love to read. It's not common. But when you are writing, yes, it is really common people use this type of uh, co uh, coordinating conjunctions. But when you speak, the most common one is going to be because. This is whenever you are going to write something. But you can use it. I mean, it's not incorrect. The only thing is that when you speak, it's not common. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to understand because I'm going to understand that you are trying to say because, right? But if you want, uh, this one is whenever you want to write something. Yeah. When you want to speak something, so you need to use because. It's the same. The same that you have been using your whole life. But when you want to write something, you can use those structures. With so it's, it's, it's let, let me say, it's more common to, to for, for write than, than yes. speak. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Right. Yes. That's the difference, okay? But it is correct if you use it when you speak. Mm -hmm. So now, the most common or the most, I would say, um, yes, the most common way or the easiest way for you to learn coordinating conjunctions is by remembering the acronym FAMBOYS. FAMBOYS, okay? If you learn this acronym, it is going to be easy for you to remember, okay, to remember coordinating conjunctions. Why? Because take a look at this. F for A N N nor B but O or Y yet as so. And at the end, the acronym is FAMBOYS. 
And those are the only coordinating conjunctions that we have. Okay, fanboys is the acronym. So whenever someone uh, tells you, do you know about fanboys, about coordinating conjunctions? Oh yes, of course, for, in, nor, but, or, jet, and so. Uh, okay. Nice tip. Yeah, fanboys. Yeah, it is so useful. That's how I learned coordinating conjunctions, right? It is useful and easy. Now, the challenge here is you being able to use fanboys, right? That is the challenge, but okay. So then we also have um, the explanation from the book, right? Yeah, so we have the explanation from the book. So it says, that for explains reason or purpose. The same thing that we were um, talking about, just like because, the same thing, yeah? And adds one thing to another. In addition to, we covered before, nor presents an alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one. Nor, you know that nor means me right? But shows contrast is the same as however, as I mentioned before, or presents an alternative or a choice. Mm -hmm. You know what is a choice? Yeah. Options, right? So yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. Tip, pronunciation. Whenever you see those type of um, words, for example, this one, the normal pronunciation that probably you are going to say is logically, but that is not the correct pronunciation. The correct pronunciation is going to be logically. So the letter A disappears whenever you pronounce it. Logically, basically, okay, specifically. Yeah. Instead of you saying logically, basically, specifically, you see the pronunciation enhances, right? It improves if you pronounce better. Yeah. Logically, specifically, basically. Yeah. Then um, remember the punctuation. So you have the sentence, comma. A fanboy, it could be for, and, nor, but, or, jet, or so, yeah? And another sentence. And it says, add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences below. Okay, number one. What punctuation mark should we add? And where should we add the punctuation mark? What do we need to add? We need and. to add. Mm -hmm. We need to add what? Okay, punctuation marks. What is a punctuation mark? Coma. Puntuación, and that is coma. Very good. Where do we need to add coma? Where? After the restaurant. Excellent. After restaurants. And Nelson, can you please help us reading the sentence? Okay, all of sentence? Uh, yes, please. Okay. I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. Very good. Restaurants need to offer uh, specialty dishes and they have to offer takeout in case you're er in taste in take, perdón. <laughs> Take out in case you are in a hurry. What is the hurry? In a hurry? In a rush? Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The delivery person arrived late. So we got the food for, for free. Mm -hmm. So punctuation marks, remember the coma. Coma. So coma goes right here 
right after restaurants. What about on number two? Tenía que mencionar la coma. No. Ah, pensé que solo la, la pausa. Yes, right here, okay? Yes, after dishes, right here. And on number three? So. I after, after late. After late. Late? Oh, okay. After late. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. What questions do you have, guys? What questions do you have? Mm -hmm. What questions do you have? Do you have doubts? No doubts? Yeah, I have a doubt. Uh, yeah. What happened? Uh, with the end, you don't need the comma with the end or in special cases? Excellent uh, question, okay. We are, okay, so, you know, in English, we have two type of sentences, two type of sentences. So we have um, the independent, independent clause, Así se le llama como su nombre en inglés, pero es una oración independiente. Okay? And we also have the dependent clause. Okay? We have two type uh, two title of, 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 of sentences. What do you think the independent sentence is? For example, when the sentence doesn't need a comma. Okay, so in this case, when the sentences uh, don't need comma, okay, then the independent sentence, it could be, for example, okay, for example, if we say, um, I like, I like what? I like uh, grapes. And she likes um, what? Uh, mangoes. Okay. So those are independent sentences. Why? Why independent sentences? Because they have subject, verb, and complement. Subject, verb, and complement. And we have the conjunction end. So do you think that we need coma? Yes or no? Yeah. I think we need a coma in this uh, case. We need a coma in this case? No. 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 For me, yes. Yes in or no? Yes. In grammar, for me, for me, in yes. grammar, in general, uh, you you use the comma uh, when you have to count uh, to count so many things and uh, you say the the, the things uh, use the comma to separate to separate uh, the things uh, when you are counting and you finish with the end but not use comma that's the that's the form that I know uh, okay. when you have to use it. Okay, very good. What about the other ones? What do you think? According to the information that we see on the book, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Now, look at this. Puntuation. Sentence. Coma, fan boys, sentence. So do we need a coma? Do we have yes. that structure? Yes, because and is part of the fan boy. Correct. Exactly. Okay. In this case, yes, we need a coma. Okay, so now if we say, for example, guys, um, if we say, I like grapes and mangoes. 
Okay, so in this case, this is going to be the same idea. It's the same idea. So we don't need comma because we just have one subject, one verb, and two nouns. Yeah, so we don't need a comma. Now, teacher, but if I want to add more and more, for example, I like grapes, mangoes, strawberries, then yes, we need to add comma because we have many. But if you have just two, comma is not necessary. But here, since you have two sentences with a subject, verb, and complement, you need comma because of the rule of fanboys, because of the rule, okay? Those are the, the cases. In this case, eh, Rafael. Yeah, it depends. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it depends. As you said before, it depends. Mm -hmm. It depends. But yes, uh, focus on this, right? If it says sentence, comma, fanboys, sentence, yes, we need to add comma. Okay? So now, okay, we are going to have teamwork, okay? And what we are going to do is that you are going to create seven sentences using coordinating conjunctions in a Word document, okay? In a Word document. So I need to create those seven sentences. If you want, you can use, uh, if you count, those are seven. Seven um, coordinating conjunctions, seven, okay? But in this case, if you say, no, teacher, I think that it is easier for me to create sentences with but or with so, do the seven, okay, in that way, right? But it's better for me, you understand two or three than nothing, right? I want you to please try to create seven sentences with your team. I'm going to assign different um, teams right now. Just seven. That means that if Carlos, Nelson, and Wilbur work together, so probably two Nelson, three Carlos, and um, two Wilbur. Okay. Yeah. To complete the seven. Yeah. It's not seven each. Okay. No son siete por cada uno. No. Seven as a team, como equipo. Siete. Right. So let's see. Do you have any question before we move? Do you have any question, any doubt, something that is not clear? It's clear. It's clear? Okay, so let's move. Who write the sentences? Um, do you have the class? Nelson? Hola. For, for see the example. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Class. Okay, I share my screen. Wait. I just have a minute. <laughs> okay, can you see it? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So make all sentences or uh, each uh, are some. Uh, 
Maybe. Uh, Anna, number one. Uh, Susana, number two. Me, number three. And again, Anna, number four. Mm -hmm. Susana, number uh, five. Okay. And the last, uh, each, uh, each uh, write a sentence with so. Okay. Uh, uh, the system Another Bye. Empiezo, vamos. Vamos a inventarla. Ok. I like to... I don't know if this applies to teacher or trees. Oh, okay. So okay. in case, okay. in, uh, not exactly, okay? In order for you to use the coma, you need to have two sentences. And you don't have two sentences right there. Okay, so uh, I got to explain why I have to, why I like to go uh, in the park. Yes, so I like, I like, oh, I like to go. I, I like, like to go to the, to the park for a for I break. Yeah, okay, great. The subject. Ahorita va a ser sujeto, Wilbur. For I. Oh, for I. Okay. I like. Ah, for I breathe. Fresh air. Fresh air. Okay. So you see, you need to have two sentences, complete sentences. Okay. Uh, just, I like to. Uh, you are missing like to. I like to go to the park. I like to. Okay. Period. Punto final. The second one. The second is, I she cook dinner, but she doesn't. She doesn't dinner. Is correct. She cooks dinner, but she doesn't. She doesn't dinner. Um, she doesn't. It's correct. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't. What? Why? Car? She. But um, she doesn't. Um. Uh, but she doesn't eat. Um, dinner, but she doesn't. 
Okay. She's straight. <laughs> the next one. And he <clears throat> doesn't drive. He doesn't drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. The L plank nor I have uh, my sentence. Me too. Me too. Okay. Uh, Anna, the first. I eat salad for I like lettuce. Lettuce? Lettuce. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Did you write all of sentences? Uh, yes. Um, the okay. next is... Uh, Susana. Uh -huh. Yeah. My cat likes to eat and sleep. <laughs> like, to eat, like to eat? And sleep. Yeah. And sleep. Okay. are the next Nelson. okay my sister doesn't like a uh, fish coma <laughs> nor does she like uh, beans it's fine my God. I I have a mistake with the uh, uh, four. yes sir uh, doesn't doesn't like the baseball, but he mm, he likes a cookie. A cookies, cookies, cookies. What do you think? It's okay the, the sentence. Ah. Mm. Mm. But maybe the, the comma. Mm. My son doesn't like the baseball, but he likes cook cookies. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But the next is or and we can put uh, another idea. Or or Yes, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. como decir si uno es aficionado a un equipo o otro. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like uh, or com for example, I can buy this the USB or uh, of the, the hard disk or uh -huh, or I can buy the motorcycle or the 
on est cœur. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe. We have two options. Mm. I can buy the motorcycle. I don't know why I can ride motorcycle. <laughs> motorcycle. No. Motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is. Or can buy on the phone. I can buy. Uh, a car, a car. Hmm? I think this is that okay, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I can change. For our cycles, I, I, I. I believe Jeva Nayere, what they know. You Nayere. A motorcycle. Okay. Why? Okay. The next is Jet. Um, this I don't know. Mm. Karen, do you have an, an idea? With yes, yes, I don't, I don't know. know. Jet. Yes. Jet. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, how was the exercise? Was it difficult? Uh, confusing? How was the exercise? Were you able to finish all of the all of the sentences? Right now. Mm -hmm. Being recorded. Were you able to finish with all of the sentences? No. Okay, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. We are going to continue with that tomorrow. Okay. So as you can see, this is a topic that we need to study a lot, right? So tomorrow we are going to continue with a review on this. So don't worry about it. Okay. Then, but play, please save the sentences. The ones that have the document, save those sentences because you will use them tomorrow, okay? So save those sentences. All right. So then guys, we are going to move and we are going to play Guess the Movie, okay? So for this game, um, I need three volunteers, okay? Three volunteers. Um, to describe the movie. Guess the movie. I don't know if you have played this before, but I'm going to give you the movies. I'm going to give you the movies and you are going to describe the movies to the class. Speaking, just speaking. Then the class should guess, but you cannot say, for example, if um, it is, the movie is Angry Birds, Right? You cannot say birds that are angry because you are going to give the answer. No, you need to describe the movie. Okay? So let me see. Uh, I need three volunteers to speak. Describe the movie. 
Well, Wilbur, you are one. Walter, okay. Wilbur, Walter, and Anna. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Wilbur, Wilbur, let me see, Wilbur, okay. Wilbur, you are going to describe the following, um, give me one second, okay. The following movies, Wilbur. You will have one minute, okay? Okay. Minute. Uh, you are going to describe those, Wilbur. Okay, think about how you are going to describe those. Then uh, I think that we had Anna and let me see the I, Walter. Okay, Walter. Okay, Walter, you are going to describe those to the class, and the class should guess. And Anna, all day, all day, or just one movie? All of them. I mean, um, you will have one minute, okay? To just uh, speak, talk, all right? If we guess the movies in one minute, so you are the winner, okay? I mean, for example, if the first one, uh, if we guess the first one in 10 seconds, then you move to the second one and so on, okay? Once we guess, you move to the other one, all right? So let's see. Um, okay, Wilbur, you go first. Okay, you go first. I'm going to set the timer. Aquí va a haber el minuto. Okay, en un minuto tiene que describir las más que pueda, pero una al, al, a la misma vez. O sea, en ese caso, nosotros vamos a adivinar la película y cuando la adivinemos, usted se mueve la otra. Mientras no, tiene que seguir hablando en inglés. All right, so here we go. Wilbur, and the other ones, pay attention. Escuchen a Wilbur. Okay, ¿qué película está describiendo? Which movie? Okay, so Wilbur, one, two, three, go. Okay, the first movie uh, uh, is talking about uh, a tale uh, for so many, uh, uh, here appears so many uh, per, uh, person, uh, they go. Color, color. Uh, okay. Uh, they travel so far, so far okay. away. They they travel so far away, and there are so there's some animal that speak, 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 and Shrek. he yes. Shrek. Next. Okay. Next. Oh, Next. okay. <laughs> uh, the forum the forum movie uh, is a magical movie. Uh, they make a magical. Uh, they study in a magical school. Mm -hmm. There's somebody oh, with uh, a Harry Potter class. Yes. Next. There's somebody uh, she she drives very fast and he doesn't. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> very good. Well, time is over. Okay. Three. Uh, okay. Three. Okay. Three. Esta me la puso yes, that was difficult. Okay, don't worry. Uh, okay, this movie is for a uh, for a girls. Okay. Because they they talking about a love for a for a for a man, for mm -hmm. an Indian woman, and this man uh, he comes uh, in from Europe. 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 He comes uh, in from Europe. He came in in a ship. Mm -hmm. They 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 two he meets, big but a uh, a. Uh, the, uh, they they Nico. are next they movie. Do. Next movie. With okay, 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 okay. Otra. Caribbean pirates. No, okay. No, so no. that was that was okay. Time is over. Okay. No, glory. no. No. Es la chingada Pocahontas. <laughs> Come on, with <Wilson>, okay. <laughs> Pocahontas. Okay. All right. So, so, uh, India. No, eso es lo que decía. Yeah. Yeah. Por, por, yeah. por eso que decía es para niñas y, y, yes. y como. Yeah. Okay. okay. So just uh, three, three. Okay. Uh, Walter, your turn. One, two, three. Here we go. Okay. And um, this movie is about a child. He lost his father when. When he were a child, when he, he was, was a child, uh -huh. when he was a child, 
and he he has to travel far away. Finding Nemo. Yeah. No, to no. to know who is he. And he used um he has scary about the I don't know what is he had he used a a, a dark dress. Yes. A dark dress? Dark. Mm -hmm. Dark. Malefic. Oh no. no, no, no. <laughs> No. He is a man. He is a man. A man. Sorry. Batman. Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the second one is a movie about a magical blue world. Mm -hmm. Blue world. Avatar. Yeah. Avatar. Next. Yeah. Uh, this movie is about two. Uh, it's a it's a couple and. They have to travel in a uh, water in a Titanic. Big... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is a movie um, where is a uh, titan titanium. They have titanium in this country. Wakanda. Uh, Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Vibranium. It's vibranium. Uh, oh. And the and the. <laughs> Ah, we brand new, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the last one is a movie about uh, a girl. A strong girl. A str yeah, uh, a strong girl. And I, I love this, 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 yeah. this woman. She is a wonderful beautiful. woman. <laughs> yeah, wonder woman. <laughs> wonder right? woman. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. okay, very good. All right, so Walter, uh, four because the time was over, but okay, five. They guessed five. Anna, your turn. Go, Anna. Okay. Uh, I don't see the option. The options? Uh, okay. Yeah, on the chat. Ah, okay. Uh, the first is that two lions uh, flighting for the fire. Lion King. Yes. The yes. Lion. Okay. Uh, two movie is about uh, games that uh, children. No. Children transportation to the jungle. Manji. Manji. Yes. Next. Manji. Uh, Three option is about a uh, 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 kill men that use a uh, how do you say mascara? A mask. A mask. mask. The joke, Joker. No. no. The mask. No. The, the mask and is Jason. No. No. Uh, he use a uh, a black dress, maybe. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Which one? Oh, that that one? Is. <laughs> no, is uh he, he called he called the victims? Yes. He calls the victims. Scream. Friday 13. Scream. Daddy movie. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, the last option is about a uh, big uh cut. Um, what? I don't know. <laughs> Dumbo. No. 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 no it's a cat. Cat, cat, cat. cat. Uh, is is. Good cat. Um, uh, ah. I don't know. Good I don't know. Cat. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't see this movie. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that movie. Okay, I have. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, so three of them. But okay, so the the last one was Black Panther. Okay, Black it's Black oh. Panther. <laughs> okay, guys. So just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Okay, thank you very much for learning with us. The only person that please stay with me is going to be Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Is here? Yes. Okay, thank you. Please stay with me. All right. So the other okay. ones you may go. 
ahead and rest. Okay, I hope you have a good night. I'll see you back tomorrow, guys. Okay, have a good bye. night. Bye-bye. Good, bye -bye. Bye -bye. good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, so let me see. Yes, Andrea. Okay, Andrea. So we have the feedback, okay? So we are going to have the feedback. The feedback is going to be in English, okay? Do you feel comfortable in English? Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. So Andrea, then those 10 minutes are for us to talk about the class, to talk about you, how have you felt with the class, if you have any type of observation. But first, I would like to know a little bit about you, okay? I would like to know um how many time okay in this case you have been practicing english all right um if you um have studied in a different program etc okay so tell me about your studies in the english language um, i i study in three Three, three, and uh, how do you say lugares? Oh, you have a study in three places? Three places. Um, the first one, and the Finnish, and mm -hmm. the Finnish and the, the English, and the first place from the university in the US, mm -hmm. and second, and Academy European. Okay. And uh, three in, in English Corporative. Okay, okay. So, perfect. And how do you feel with the classes? I mean, did you connect yesterday? I think that yes, right? Yes. Okay. So, how have you felt with the dynamic of the class, okay? I know that we have had two classes, but I would like to ask you, how do you feel with the dynamic of the class, with the activities that we are doing? What do you think about the activities? Would you like me to include something else? Is everything okay? What do you think? I like uh, dynamic for the class because, um, how do you say a reader? Uh, bore or boring in this case. Uh, the don't worry. Okay. Don't worry and and the particip the participate in all the the um co-workers. Oh, okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Which one is the most difficult skill for you? I mean, uh, speaking, listening, grammar. I difficult is uh, is, is the speaking talking speaking uh, because I don't expect um, bastante vocabulario. Oh, I don't have enough vocabulary. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And in this case, let me ask you something. What are you doing to improve? your vocabulary mm, i don't understand yeah what are you doing to improve improve means mejorar yeah so what are you doing to improve your vocabulary um my um improved vocabulary is uh is speak um the the song with your son Yes. Okay. All right. So, okay. And what are your expectations for the end of this module? My expectation this module is um, um ampliar. Uh, to improve. Yes. And my vocabulary in uh and the fast speaking okay okay so let me ask you this okay what do you do in your free time i my free time is uh watch tv mm -hmm. um the series 
the pubs, then. Okay, all right. And what is your favorite type of music? Uh, my favorite music is uh, hip hop. Hip hop, really? In English? Yes. Okay. Um, Eminem. Yes, okay. He has really good songs, right? Which one is your yes. favorite song? And the. I have to say. De la película de él se me escapó la, la, el nombre de la canción. Lose yourself. I guess. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And which one do you prefer, Andrea? Do you prefer online classes or classroom classes? I prefer online class because um um accommodate mm -hmm. in my time okay. or in receive class in my house. Um, okay. All right. Do you work from Monday to Saturday or from Monday to Friday? In the class or my work? Your work. Uh, my work is the, the Monday and Saturday. Okay, from from Monday to Saturday. Yes. Okay, all right, perfect. Then, which is your favorite color and why? Uh, my favorite color is brown because the color my eyes. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Eyes. Okay, very good. So then let me ask you something, Andrea. Do you have any question about the grammar part that we have covered right now? Do you have any question, any doubt? Uh, the, for the moment, I don't question. Oh, I don't have a question. I don't have. I don't have a question. Okay. So um, then which is the comparative adjective of short? Uh, the comparative, the comparative I, adjective of short. Come, no, I don't understand the question. Okay, which is the comparative adjective of the adjective short? For example, we have a small and the comparative is a smaller. So what about short? Okay. Um, I care. This area a sharp chip and cheaper. Chip? Cheaper. No? Okay, in short. Uh, I. <laughs> okay, don't worry, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. no, you don't remember? I don't remember. Okay. It is going to be shorter. Okay. Okay. Shorter with ER. Okay. So then, okay. and the last one, okay. Uh, what about happy, which is the comparative? Uh, happier. Excellent. Happier. Very good. Okay, Andrea. So, do you have any question, any doubt, something that you would like to share with me? Que si no tengo preguntas por el momento. Uh, I don't, I don't have no? okay. any question. All right. Andrea. Okay, so we're going to stop right here this feedback, but if you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me, okay? Si tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta, no dude en hacérmelo saber, okay? Okay. Okay, so nice to meet you, Andrea. I'll see you back tomorrow. Nice, nice to meet you too. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.